Boardman is growing, so our plans for the township have to grow as well. Over the next five years, our trustees are implementing a plan to help our home flourish. From combating flooding with the construction of the new Stormwater District and Stormwater Park to necessary emergency service upgrades, we're implementing a five-year plan to help our citizens feel safe and protected in the spaces where they live and work. Hi, I'm Brad Calhoun, Borman Township Trustee. This is my 14th year serving the community. I'm retired from Borman Schools. I've worked there for 33 years. My children went to Bourbon schools and my uh, wife graduated from Bourbon School, so we're very proud of this community. Tom Costello, I'm a Bourbon trustee. I'm currently in my 20th year in office. I've had the honor and the privilege of serving our community. I'm married, have two grown children and three grandchildren. It's uh, an honor to serve and I look forward to continuing the work to make sure that Bourbon stays a nice place to call home. I'm Larry Moliterno, trustee here in Boardman Township, and I've been a trustee now for four terms, which is 16 years. I'll be uh, beginning my fifth term in January. We moved to Boardman 30 years ago because we wanted to have a place where we can raise our kids, where you have a great school system, great recreational opportunities like we have here with our, our parks, great services in the community in terms of a police and fire support, but also to live in an area where you have the advantage of being in really nice close-knit communities but at the same time you're close enough that you can go to the stores and you can go to the malls and you can go to the restaurants and be able to enjoy all those other things that are part of quality of life here in Boardman Township. First established in 1805, Boardman Township has been thriving ever since with over 17,000 homes, 2,200 businesses, and 40,000 citizens. Our zoning department, staffed with five dedicated employees, is hard at work using an estimated budget of $440,000 a year. Hi, my name is TJ Karen, and I'm the new Director of Planning and Zoning here at Boardman Township. And I have about 20 years experience working in the planning and zoning profession on both the private and public sector. I'm looking forward to crafting a work program that will take us into the next five years. In 2022, the Zoning Department issued 784 permits and 1,265 permits in 2021, covering everything from fences, pools, homes, and businesses as our township expands. Hi there, my name is Stephanie Landers. I am the Deputy Administrator of Boardman Township. I have been here for almost 20 years now, and I really do just consider myself the hub of the wheel, whether it's coordinating the natural gas and electrical aggregation programs, doing agendas, doing minutes, also working with the COG, that is our uh, Austin Town Boardman and Mahoning County dispatch services that we provide, and also with the ABC Water and Stormwater District. Boardman has 38 full-time employees protecting our citizens and their property from fire. Our fire department is working with a budget of $4.8 million and responds to more than 5,700 calls per year. The primary goals of the Township Fire Department over the next five years is to address our challenges with recruitment and retention. Another goal of the fire department is to uh, provide EMS services to the community. We're also exploring options to expand into a fire district with Campfield. We're also looking at ways to seek out additional funding to support our equipment needs. While we grow, we are evaluating our regional fire services and recruitment efforts to make sure that all of our citizens are safe. Currently, our police department has a budget of $9.5 million with 60 sworn officers and 18 non-sworn officers. These officers respond to over 30,000 calls a year one of our primary goals is wellness and safety of our, our employees within in the police department. We've done several things um, to kind of enhance that. and We have plans to continue that focus over the next five years. One of the things that we've, we've done is institute a peer support group. We've sent several of our employees for training and we'll continue that program, continue to build on that. One of our goals over the next five years is going to be continue to focus on technology. What can we acquire? What can we use that, that enhances what we do on a daily basis makes us more productive and we'll continue to focus that on the next five years. How do we leverage uh, our resources to be in the community both service oriented as we're answering calls and then also being proactive and making sure that we're in our neighborhoods on a daily basis, we're around our businesses and we're positively affecting people, both the people that live in Boardman and the people that are visiting Boardman. We'll be working to ensure quality safety services for our citizens by maintaining robust police training and reviewing our recruitment efforts for new officers. 
To further guarantee the safety of our officers and citizens, our police department will be outfitted with body cameras and camera vehicles to provide fair protection to all citizens in the five years. With over 35,700 emergency calls directed towards the fire and police, we want to ensure that all citizens can quickly get the help that we need. To do so, we're developing a cost-sharing formula for countywide dispatching services that will not only keep our citizens in touch with the police and fire department, but provide quick and reliable emergency medical dispatching as well. Boardman Township boasts more than 145 miles of road, maintained by 23 township employees under a $3.6 million budget. Over the next five years, the goals for the road department in Boardman Township is to keep our rolling stock of fleet vehicles in good working order, which means replacing vehicles that need to be replaced and looking for new equipment that will make our job easier to maintain the roads. Over the next five years, we're completing a township-wide road assessment survey and implementing a new county-funded pavement strategy to get you where you need to go safely. We'll be working to replace or repair our existing 1.1 million feet of stormwater pipes and infrastructure. In addition to building new infrastructure, thanks to our partnership with ABC Water and the Stormwater District. The other thing that we want to do is working with the ABC Water and Stormwater District to upgrade our storm sewer system. A lot of our storm sewers are aging and their corrugated metal pipe, which has become deteriorated. By working with the ABC Water and Stormwater District, we'll be able to increase capacity of our storm sewers and we're able to put flood control structures on our open spaces so that we can alleviate, again, the infiltration into the sanitary sewers. These partnerships will lead to perhaps the most exciting aspect of our five-year plan, one sure to help secure the safety of Boardman Township against flooding from severe weather. My name is Jason Lurie. I'm the Township Administrator for Boardman Township, but I also serve as the representative for the ABC Water and Stormwater District for Boardman. Together with ABC Water and the Stormwater District, we are exploring grant opportunities to acquire properties and increase floodplains, collaborating on the Stormline Pipe Replacement Program, and developing more infrastructure, including our new Stormwater Park. We're making progress with the Forest Lawn Stormwater Park. We've broken ground on the 14.6-acre green space, where Market Street Elementary School once stood to provide flooding relief and a green recreational space for citizens and pollinator-friendly plant life. And we'll be putting in a stormwater park that includes a 14-acre site with a trail and some wildlife. With these plans in place, we're setting our citizens up for a safer, happier home with a sustainable future so that Boardman can continue to flourish for the next 200 years.